Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am back to do my April book haul. So in the month of April I acquired a lot of amazing books that I am really excited to talk about here today. I have a total of, I believe, of nine books to talk about so I'm just going to jump right in and get started. So the first two books I have here for my book haul were both given to me by my best friend for Easter. So the first book I have here is called The Awakening of the Sunshine or The Awakening of Sunshine Girl. This is by Paige McKenzie. This is a, I think you would call it kind of a paranormal, literally fiction type of thing. And it follows our main character whose name is Shun Shun Sunshine. And she has the ability to talk to ghosts. And that's pretty much all I know about this book. I can't, I think it's a mystery. Um, but I don't know much about just that she has the ability to talk to ghosts. So she's kind of like a psychic in a way. The next book I have is one of the most well-known books here on Booktube, and that book is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Again, this was given to me by my best friend for Easter, so thank you so much to her for giving me these two books. I have heard amazing things about this book, and I've been wanting to pick it up ever since I started Booktube about a year ago now, and I just haven't yet, and this is a contemporary fiction that deals with suicide, and it follows our main character, Clay, and one day he finds these tapes or these like video recordings um that were belonged to a girl named her name was Hannah at one point it tell kind of tells the reasons why she ended up killing herself and this again is very well loved here on booktube and I'm really excited to read it whenever I get the chance the next two books were both sent to me by the authors so the first book is called the Mis miseries of Mr. Sparrows and this is by Matthew A.J. Timmons and this book is a mystery thriller novel, and I'm, I, that's, I'm literally, I don't know much about this book, um, but I'm guessing it has to do with ancient Egypt, because it, only because of the cover, that's what I'm getting from it, but I know it is a mystery and a little bit of thriller. And the other book I was sent to for review was, it's called Invitation by Bill Myers, Frank Peridi, I'm so sorry if I butchered that name, Angela Hunt, and Alton Gansky. And this is, again, another mystery thriller novel that I'm trying to get more into that genre. So whenever a, uh author or publisher uh, contacts me to see if I want to review a book that has to do with mystery and thriller, I always say yes if it sounds like something up my alley. So I'm pretty excited um, to read this. I believe this is a short story collection as well, so I'm going to have to check this out. The next book you guys might be a little bit surprised to see on here because I read a book by this author last year that I have a review up for my, uh, here on my channel and I will link that down below. But that book is called Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This author is very well loved here on Booktube. I read Cinder by her last year, the first book of the Lunar Chronicles. I did not like it. Um, I don't know if I was just not in the mood for retellings or what. I just did not like Cinder. And I've just heard so many fantastic things about Heartless that I figured I would pick it up. And this sounds more up my alley than uh, the Lunar Chronicles ever did. So this is a Alice in Wonderland retelling. It's kind of a backstory on the Queen of Hearts, which I love. And I'm definitely going to check this out soon. Hopefully I'll enjoy it more than I did the Lunar Chronicles. The next book I have here is a middle grade novel and it's called Loki's Wolves and this is by K.L. Armstrong and M.A. Marr and this is something similar from what I read in the synopsis that sounds a lot like Percy Jackson which I read last year and loved so I am definitely going to check this out. I believe it follows my main character Matt and he is a descendant of Thor um, who was one of course of the Norse um, mythology gods and I that's pretty much all I know. And it kind of follows his adventures, so it really sounds really good. I believe this is a, the first book in a trilogy, so definitely going to check this out sometime soon. And the last book I have in this haul for you guys is a book that, at the beginning of the month, I did not think I would end up having in this haul. And that book is Hamilton and the Revolution by Lin-Manuel Lin Miranda and Jeremy McCarter. I listened to the Hamilton soundtrack for the very first time just a couple weeks ago and fell in love with it. And then my uncle bought me this book for Easter, kind of on a whim, and I was like, okay. <laughs> and I've literally looked through it, I haven't like fully read it yet, but I already love it, and it pretty much details the entire story of how Hamilton came to be. Of course, Hamilton the musical, you guys all know about it, and I'm really excited to eventually read it. 
And that's all I'm going to have for this haul, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I will be sure to have all my social media links linked down below, as well as my review for Cinder by Marissa Reiner, if you would like to hear my thoughts on that. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload pretty frequently on, my ch on this channel, so be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this one. And I will see you guys soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!